Red Cloud loves laughter, which he says creates harmony. He has a sparkling and delighted sense of fun which he frequently brings into play when he feels the atmosphere of a sitting is becoming too tense. I remember one lady, who moved in elevated society circles, and always exquisitely dressed in the height of fashion, once asked him, Red Cloud, why is it that the so many of the guides are Indians with painted faces? She did not mean this unkindly. It was a genuine question which, incidentally, has been asked many times. Should the Indian not paint his face? Red Cloud replied with a twinkle. Do you not do the same? The tenseness of the seance at once dissolved in laughter. At another sitting, when the atmosphere had become charged with emotion, Red Cloud suddenly interposed, Two days ago others of my race approached me, saying, Come quickly, there are those who would scalp your medium. I went with them and found her seated in a chair with her hair attached to a machine. I looked, but she was well and happy, so I went away. I was, of course, at the hairdresser's, having my hair permanently waved. Another example of spirit identification by a prearranged password was when a lady came bringing a personal object which had belonged to someone she loved. She hoped that with its aid she might receive a communication. In the course of the sitting I became mystified when the only word I could hear was rabbits, repeated several times. The sitter asked if there was any message for her. I replied there was, though I doubted whether it could possibly interest her. Somewhat diffidently I told her that all I had received was the word rabbits. But that is the very word my husband and I agreed upon as evidence of identification, she exclaimed triumphantly. After that I was no longer surprised at any message which came from the spirit world.